I mean, I just literally got off the plane, really hung over from the end of tour party, and just started writing and filming. And I was obviously trying to avoid being in Blur. The idea of it being an album was a kind of a joke, really. It's ludicrous to think you might be able to do an album in five days. Giving someone a second, third chance and then them seemingly just blowing it again with you, you know. And you're like, oh, God, I can't... I don't think I can cope with this anymore. Yeah, well, you know, relationships are scary and people do weird things. You know, and just when you think everything is, you know, nice and smooth, it's all a bit like, whoa, you know, what's going on here? Well, you're always going to have times when you've never, you haven't done the right thing. It's part of growing up and learning what the right thing to do is. Well, we're going to uh, sing some songs about your town. Two thousand and nine was a sort of reconciliation, and it was done. I don't think any of us wanted it to be diminishing returns and nostalgia. That would have been horrible. In many ways, I sort of accepted that I wasn't really going to do anything again with Blur. Then the, the Olympics came up. It was because of the Olympics we got a call to do a big show on the last day in Hyde Park. Um, the atmosphere was right. It just felt like a very special occasion. And uh, I think it was, it was just such a good one. We were all like, oh, actually, that was quite good. And it's like, well, if we're getting together to do that, we might as well go and play some places we've never played before. And I think that was the reason why, why we uh, found ourselves in Hong Kong. 